Hello, welcome back. We're casting some duels. Tommy versus Kyle. We've just seen a fantastic game on Arrowwalk, and now we're on to a fantastic game on Fuse. How do I know it's fantastic? Well, unless you're watching this live right now, I won't upload it unless it's good. Beautiful shooting from Kyle. Look at that perfect uh, prediction of where Kyle was going to... Sorry, beautiful shooting from... Why do I get these two mixed up? Their names are nothing alike. I managed to get through a match of Clasps versus Kyle and not bugger it up. So Tommy versus Kyle should be easy. But beautiful prediction and getting a mid-air rocket round a corner. And we're going to get to see some more slow gameplay of Zenotic. Quite a lot of Zenotic's gameplay is very fast. Tommy is one of the few players who plays it methodically, timing his shots, waiting he doesn't trust in his aim. He's got fantastic aim, but he doesn't trust in it. But that just makes him a really strong player because by not trusting it, he always plays really well. Oh! I If Tommy had got that armor, that would have gone very, very differently. But unfortunately, he just doesn't quite pick up the armor. That rocket goes straight through him. I love watching pers <laughs> first person demos. You can tell that the that Tommy was slightly surprised when that rocket went straight through him. You can tell that he was like, oh, oh. <laughs> that shouldn't have gone through me there. <sighs> Unfortunate little nick, but going to get a good amount of timing on Kyle coming around the corner. Again, stopping, waiting. The way that Tommy plays this map makes it feel big, and the way that Kyle make, plays this map makes it feel very small. I can tell you that this map is very small if you want it to be. If you want this map to be, you know, you can get from any room to any other room in 2-3 seconds if you need to. But when you want to avoid things, well, it's best to not. Ooh, that would have been a phenomenal jump there. Beautiful prediction there from Tommy. Carl's going up. Does get the item, but isn't going to get out of there without taking a lot of damage. So the Mega realistically not going to count towards much for Kyle there. But he is going to get the frag on Tommy. And then the after frag. Kyle is going to be low at this point, I think. You can see that he's not playing in. Beautiful shooting from Tommy. He saw the next be taken. Managed to put a shot right down there. Now he's going to move back in because he can see... I think Kyle's got a lot of the timing on there. I have a feeling that if this match was right after the previous match, um, which, no spoilers, but Tommy had control of the items and Kyle didn't. Potentially Kyle's realised that and is trying to gain control of the items. Have seen this demo is about a year old. I should, uh, should have probably said that at the start rather than three minutes in. But, yeah, his demo is about a year old. Um, Kyle has got a lot better at his control of items. It is one of the hardest things to play this game fast, loose, and have rigid control over the items. Probably one of the hardest things to do in gaming, and that's why Duel doesn't take off. Especially in these faster-paced games like Xenotic, CPMA, Warso, Reflex, compared to the likes of Quake Live. And of course, Quake 1, where nobody really timed the items. You can't time the Mega too well. It wasn't so understood as far as I'm aware. But a lot of players don't play Duel. It's uh, kind of more a team-based game now. Same engine, though. Brings us these beautiful graphics of Xenotic. And the lovely movement that we have. Kyle's up five frags. Tommy does tend to come back in the second half. Uh, I have noticed he's not the fastest starter. If he can connect this frag, it could all change. But Tommy's managing to get out of here. Using the labyrinth and corridors. Oh, Tommy doesn't quite connect that shot. But it's a beautiful little bit of movement to pick up the uh, 
health on the way past without losing any any real speed or positioning. Mega should be up soon if Tommy's going to be going for it. Oh, nice prediction of where Carl was going to go through. Unfortunately, it didn't land. He's in a very bad position standing out in the open on that pillar. I think Carl's probably going to pick up that Mega. Unfortunate there for Tommy. Nicely done. Tommy managing to sneak up the back. Still Tommy yet to score. It's interesting there. If that was... So from where Kyle was and where Tommy was, if Kyle had done what Tommy just did and Tommy was where Kyle was, he would have got shot with a rocket. Because it would have been so obvious when that electron, Electro uh, came through, it would have been so obvious Tommy would have been firing straight at the next. Instead, Kyle doesn't really seem to notice. So it's that interesting difference between the two playstyles. Tommy, of course, now with two frags, starting to bring it back. It's definitely doable from here. This map can change its pace super quickly, and so can Tommy. So he's been playing fairly well, uh, well reserved in terms of the speed department, of course. But now I think he's going to have to step it up and look at the control he's now got. He's got the Mega, he's got both armors, he's got some shards. Shards are the most important thing on this map. Um, this map, because it hasn't got a Mega Armor and Stormkeep, something that Dodger told me not to leak his secrets, but on Stormkeep, shards are more important than the Mega Armor. There's no, there's no 50s on that map. There's 125. It's in a, oh no, there's two 25s, but they're both in rubbish places that are difficult to get to. And you can get 50 round the back of the Mega from the shards, or 40 or something like that. You can get a lot. You can get enough that the Mega and all the shards round the Mega on, you know, we're going completely to a different map, but, uh, the Mega and all the Shards around the Mega are more worth more than the Mega Armor. <sighs> Beautiful play there. Tommy on the back foot with no, just a fresh spawn. No armor, no health to speak of. And no weapons using the only weapon he's got. Beautiful play. Three frags to find. And two minutes to do it. And now two minutes to do it. And two frags to find. And he's found a good amount of stack here. Can't be long until this next armor comes up. The Mega's going to be a while. I'm not sure if he was playing to bait Kyle there. But he's managed to get the frag. He's pulled it back 7 to 8 the scoreline. Again, coming back in the last half of the game. Nicely played. He's pushing Kyle away. Kyle... It's definitely too early for Carl to try a get out of, you know, run away tactic here. One frag in a minute and a half. You can do it if you can pick up the Mega, but you can't do it all the time. Because eventually Tommy's going to hunt you down and find you still had better stack than one Mega uh, at the start of that fight. Kyle now really doesn't want to take a fight. He doesn't want to fight until he's at least got weapons. Um, the way that Kyle's been shooting in this game, I'd say prior to seven minutes, I'd put Kyle down to win a match if Tommy had, if they had the same weapons. Kyle was a fresh spawn, no armor, and Tommy had 100 health, maybe 50, 75 armor. I'd put Kyle down to still win the aim duel. But at this point, Tommy's hitting his shots. He really is. It'd be interesting to see how much of these numbers are from before half time and after half time or before maybe even seven minutes because Tommy since that time he's been hitting his shots and now there's 30 seconds left and you can see he's still pushing in it's not like he's trying to get away from fights he's still pushing in to uh, Kyle doesn't seem to realize how little time he's got left Kyle's searching but he's not going to be able to find the fight and if Tommy wins this duel 
I think that's it. 15 seconds left on the clock. Two frags remaining. Carl's going to come through. Tommy unfortunately misses the first rocket. Carl will just wait it out. Beautiful frag there. And that is GG. 11 to 8. Fantastic demo right there. Another demo where Tommy comes back in the second half. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. And yeah, send demos if you've got them. Discord IRC, I'm available everywhere in Zenotic. If you don't know where to find me, someone will know where to find me. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next demo.